Hey folks, how you doing? All right, we're off and running. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get this uh, camera angle going. All right, so this is for staff and members. So this is a YX3 workout number one. YX3 workout number one, and what I'm gonna try to do is try to get the whole thing right now, and if not, I'm gonna break it up in uh, two different videos. Part one is going to be the endurance, so the row circuit part of this, and the second part would be uh, the strength. So in the first, basically, excuse me, in the first uh, segment, you're gonna get an email with this, uh, with a workout. So we're gonna row, row circuit starts, it's a 15 minute long circuit. We're gonna do the whole 15 minutes. Do as many sets as you can, repetitions as you can. So row, the first thing is you're gonna row for 90 seconds. You're gonna get on the rower, and you're gonna row for 90 seconds. Overhand, standard row. Then you're gonna get off, and you're gonna do 20 squats with arms straight overhead. And what does that look like? 20 squats with arms overhead. Overhead squats, one, two. Do we all, does that make sense? So you're gonna do 20 of those. It is the coach's responsibility to modify these workouts for anyone that cannot do that movement. Okay, so then we got, we get back on the rower, quick transition into the rower, do a 90, another 90 seconds, and we're gonna do 15 push-ups. I don't think I have to demonstrate what a push-up looks like, just a standard push-up. If we have to do a variation, we could do a wall push-up, we could do chair push-up, modified push-up, all of those okay, but 15 push-ups. Then we're gonna go back on the rower, 90 seconds, we're gonna do a one minute plank hover. So you're gonna do a one minute plank or a push up plank, right? <clears throat> if you have a couple of rock stars in the class, you could do a uh, elbow plank with jacks. So plank and you're doing jacks or you're doing step outs, right? In that plank position or you're doing a push up plank hover is another variation. You could do shoulder taps, right? So those are just different examples of what you could be doing for that plank. If you have to rest 20, 30 seconds into it, it's okay. Have them put their knees down, rest for two, uh, two, three count, get back up. All right, correct the form, make sure everything, the main focus with all of this is make sure that everyone's form is correct. Any deficiencies, you address it, but don't let them do an exercise without correcting that form. So then we're gonna get back on the rower, 90 seconds. Now we're gonna do 20 alternating plyometric lunges. <coughs> now, a plyometric lunge that I want is basically scissor kicks, right? This is a plyometric lunge right here. If you can't do that, then you're doing straight lunges. Get those arms involved, get that oxygen pumping, right? Don't, don't let people do this. Don't let them do all the work on the lower body side. Let their upper body work in, right? So if they can't do that, then we're doing step backs. It's a lot easier, right? Or some kind of support make it easier for them. We gotta get back on the rower, row another 90 seconds. Now we're gonna do 20, 15 prone glute bridges or hip thrusts, right? That's laying down on the ground and doing the hip thrusts. <coughs> I don't think the camera angle will allow me to do that. Maybe it can, right? So from here, we'll try that. One, two, squeeze those glutes, keep that core tight, right? We don't want them, uh, <clears throat> them to engage those glutes and do 15 good ones. That's gonna help the hamstrings, it's gonna help those glutes that a lot of people neglect. So it takes about 12 minutes to get through this part of it. At this point, you're gonna have them start from the top and start all over again row 90 seconds the idea is that they get through it as efficiently as they can and do as many of those sets as they can initially they might only do one set but towards the end of those three four weeks they're going to be able to do a little quicker a little more weight but i want them to master those workouts those movements in those four weeks Does that make sense so now <coughs> We have time, but it didn't take me that long. So now we're gonna get into the strength training circuit. Same thing, start at the top, work your way down, and we're gonna do the first one are TRX push-ups. So you're just gonna do the TRX straps and go into a push-up. The more angle that we have, the more body weight. 
So adjust that accordingly based on your, the person that you have in front of you, right? So a TRX push up. Then we have 20 alternating lunges with bicep curls. What does that look like? Basic lunge, curl, lunge, curl. 20, that's 10 each leg, right? So 10 here, 10 there for a total of 20 curls. <coughs> now we have 10 to 15 burpees. You can modify these very easily. They don't, they, you can take the push up out. So what does a burpee look like from this position here? Down, kick out, push up, jump in. That's one burpee. Modify it. You can take the jump out of it. You can take the push up out of it, right? If anything, they can just go down, kick out, push up, hover, plank position, jump back in, come back up. This is what I don't want to see. I don't want the I don't want the feet to be narrow on the way in and basically from this position kind of stand up and now they're putting pressure on their low back. I want them to jump in nice and wide, hands here nice and wide, and I want them to squat up. Right? Now they're controlling their movements and their bodies a lot better than having them come in kind of narrow. So now we're gonna do 15 sumo squats with kettlebell. So or a plie squat. Toes out, kettlebell, relax, relax the shoulders. I don't want them up here. Relax the shoulders, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. We're doing 15 of those, right? Key thing with those, once again, don't hold the weight with the shoulders. Relax it. So now we got, after that, we're doing 15 kettlebell swings, right? I see a lot of kettlebell swings where they're doing squats. That's not a kettlebell swing. Kettlebell swing is we got a hinge at the hip, right? Drive through the glutes. Here, pop, pop, pop. They do not need to go up here. There's no benefit once you go beyond this parallel. No benefit whatsoever. So just keep it here tight and just explode through those hips, right? It should not be this. This is not a kettlebell swing. Let's call it something else. So now we have 20 overhead seated tricep extensions. So you have them seated, dumbbells, extensions, right? <coughs> you could do these standing. I have it seated, but you could do either one. Pretty basic. So then we got 10 tricep dips. On a bench, we're gonna do tricep dips. The key thing here is Keep those elbows back, right? As you're coming down, keep them back. I don't want them flared out. People should not be looking like this, doing a tricep dip. It's putting too much pressure on that sternum, right? It's pushing in this way. We want them back here. This is gonna affect the tricep. That's what we want. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Then we got 20 jumping jacks. Just basic jumping jacks. If you have someone with a deficiency, have them step out. Jumping jack, right? If you have someone that's a little bit ahead, higher skill set, more conditioned, then jump squat. There we go. You have someone that's a little bit, needs a little more cardio, needs a little bit something a little more challenging, then we're gonna do 180s. That's gonna challenge them a little bit more, right? So get creative with those exercises. Now we got TRX back row. So now you take them back to the TRX and they're gonna row, right? Make sure that they're not swinging. I don't wanna see this. That's not a row. Watch the, those wrists. I don't wanna come in and doing this, right? We don't want that. We want strong hold row. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep that core tight so they're not swinging and releasing that core. And we got 20 squats with alternating leg lifts, shoulder press. Choose wisely on the weight. You wanna go lighter on these because they are pretty challenging. They're pretty heavy on the shoulders. So you start in this position here. We're gonna do a squat. We're gonna thrust up, leg lift, 
shoulder press. Down, alternate. Down, alternate. Drive, right? So once again, lighter on the dumbbells. You'll blow someone out. It's pretty heavy on the shoulders, but nice and controlled movement here. Not up there. If someone can't lift that leg, that's fine. Thrust, if they get tired, drop the weights. No weight, right? So modify it accordingly. Once again, you have 15 minutes to do as many of these sets, rotations as possible before you move on to the treadmill. You're probably already at the treadmill. So this is YX3 workout number one. Every three weeks, you can expect the next workout to be up on that uh, YouTube channel. And we'll go from there, all right? Any questions, email me and let me know. Thank you.